Around the world, humans are coming together to reduce climate change. And it's not just humans who are stepping up. The trees are too. I'm Dan Riskin. It's up to humans to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, but as for the CO2 that's already been released into the air, plants will be doing most of the work to pull it back out. When plants perform photosynthesis, that is to say when they get energy from sunlight to grow, they take carbon dioxide out of the air to do it. Now, one remarkable thing about plants is that this process runs faster when there's more carbon dioxide in the air. And that's great news. We've already boosted CO2 levels in the air by about 50% above pre-industrial levels, so we need all the help we can get. In greenhouse experiments, plants exposed to higher carbon dioxide perform photosynthesis faster, but that's in a greenhouse, and it's always been unclear whether mature trees do the same thing out in a forest. So, a massive scale study in the UK has tested mature trees. For three years straight, researchers sprayed carbon dioxide into a mature forest of oak trees, about 175 years old and more than 25 meters tall. The wonderful news is that the trees did great. They increased their photosynthesis rates by 33%, and even after three years, they showed no signs of letting up. Trees, it turns out, are ready for the challenge. It's obviously a great relief that trees are gonna be upping their game as carbon dioxide levels continue to climb, but it won't be enough to counteract human-made emissions. It's still our job to move towards a zero emissions future. It's just nice to know that the trees will be there with us to help clean up when we get there. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.